So guys, I have had an idea. Now, when I normally have an idea, that might be the cue for you to run away screaming. Um, but this one might actually be a good one. I, I don't know. We've done a lot of challenge videos on some very difficult factions, haven't we? Acrid Gas, Pathogonia, the Silesians recently as well. But I wanted to do something different. I want to do a challenge video as Pontic Pentapolis. Now, we're going to be playing this on hard, hard, not very hard, very hard. And there's very good reason for that. And I'll explain once we get into the campaign map. First things first, though, before I click that button, guys, make sure you like and subscribe. 100 likes and we will continue this series going forward. So, guys, what you have in front of you here is Pontic Pentapolis, the Black Sea Greek colony that snakes its way down the coast of the Black Sea. And what you have in front of you now, guys, is the Black Sea. <laughs> this is what we're going for, okay? We are going to try and take every single coastal settlement on the Black Sea. Now, there's about 70 settlements. I believe. And we start off with, I think, seven. So we've got a ten times our size. Now, this is the reason why we are not playing this challenge on very hard. Because as we do this, as we border more and more factions, especially down here, if we're playing on very hard, we're going to have to go inland because they are going to attack us. Now, there's still a big chance on hard that they will do as well. But it's a smaller chance. So rather than that, we are going to be playing on hard. But I think that's still going to be pretty fun. It's more of a weird challenge. It's not a survival challenge. But can we get the whole of the Black Sea to make a Black Sea trading empire? Really interesting. Let's see whether we can do it. Um, and let's go. First things first, though, we are going to accept extreme mode. We are playing still on extreme mode. And let's have a look at our cities and what sort of armies we have available. So first things first, I have split up the armies into two separate camps. We've got our northern army in the north with the best sort of a commander for the job. He is a drunkard. Not amazing, but um, <laughs> he's got a drill master, veteran mercenary captain. And he is, you know, he's got some good command stats, you know. Uh, confident commander, famous orator, all that sort of thing. So this guy's going to be a decent commander for us. And then down south, slightly smaller army. But uh, Mentes over here is also a good commander because he's brave and he's got some good military stats. So we've got our armies set up. Now, what's the plan? Well, first things first, we are going to be putting all our tax rates up as high as possible in each of these settlements. So we're making more money as we go forward. We need to make as much money as possible. Well, firstly, down south, we are going to go for De Belton because it is a freebie, really, for us. I believe it's a Thracian settlement. It is, unfortunately. We are going to go straight for it, though, because it's a freebie. And I think it counts as bordering the sea here. So, uh, yeah, I think it counts. And then we're going to make our way down to Salmedesos. This one as well, Celembria, although the port is not on this side, it does actually border the Black Sea, so we want to take that as well. Now, in the north, we do have our ally of Histria, but I think we're going to betray them. Uh, we might as well. It's a nice large town. It's got a bit of a garrison, but uh, yeah, I think the best option is for us to betray them. In terms of our recruitment capabilities, guys, they are pretty awful at the start, so... The, 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 the highest level of barracks and stables and, and ranges we have is one in the two settlements. We've got one down here, two of just one and one. So, yeah, but we are, of course, going to be recruiting some hoplites straight away. I'm also going to back that up by recruiting some of the Acontisti. They're not going to be too bad units honestly and we're not going to build anything on this first turn we're going to get another ship down here because we will need ships of course guys if we're going to be going around the black sea making a trading empire we are of course going to need some ships aren't we but uh, i think that is the first turn done let's watch tylus and the gete kill us off straight away shall we <laughs> Now, the real challenge of this campaign, guys, is having such a thinly spread empire over such a large region. Now, that is going to be 
Such a horrible, horrible challenge. Recruitment, retraining, all of that sort of thing is going to be a logistical absolute nightmare. Um, so yeah, not looking forward to it too much, to be honest. But uh, you should. It will be entertaining. That is the main thing. Well, uh, let's see if we can uh, try and get an alliance with uh, the Gete back. They accept straight away. Welcome, do we have trade friend. rights? We do. Wondering, anyone else that's worth getting an alliance with? Maybe Kabile? Because I don't want them to come and stab us in the back. Although, that is very likely. So, let's get into this little battle. Shouldn't be too hard, my friends. But let's see what we can do. Well, here we go. In through the gates, my friends. And I've got to say, it is slightly weird playing with uh, Greek units after so long. I've been playing with uh, Illyrian... Anatolian units more recently, especially Illyrians. And yeah, it is strange having such slow and sluggish units back that do actually have some armor, though, that don't die instantly to any missiles. So uh, yeah, swings and roundabouts, I've got to say. Swings and roundabouts. But uh, we've got to remember the Thracian Peltas here are armor piercing. We should absolutely shred them. But um, yeah, we should... We should uh, we should be able to break through pretty easily, but they're going to put up more of a fight than you might expect. Well, here we go. Close to the uh, town square, we have the Thracian Long Spearmen and the Thracian Royal Bodyguard. So hopefully we can drag at least one of these guys off the town square with these boys. That's why I saved some of their ammunition. I'm not too bothered about the Royal Bodyguard. We can kill them with our cavalry. I'd prefer to get rid of the Long Spearmen off the town square. Otherwise, that's going to be a bit of a grind. So, uh, yeah, let's keep coming forward, guys. Keep coming forward, and we'll try and get them off the town square. There goes the cavalry charging in. Very nice. Glorious. Should be able to kill them rather easily. Well, there we go. The long spearmen are now off the town square. So let us get our cavalry into the fight now. Oh, no, they're going. They're coming back. They're coming back. Well, that's rather annoying. That's rather annoying. Let's see what we can do here. It looks like we're just going to have to grind them off the town square, which... It's something I didn't want to do, but it looks like we're going to have to, unfortunately. But oh well. Oh well. We can give them some good charges, and that should hopefully uh, break them. Well, one of those charges was insane. It killed like 60, 70 men. So, um, yeah, pretty nice. But a, a glorious little victory, nonetheless, my friends. 91 men, not bad, not amazing. But uh, our first Black Sea conquest is done. Well, there we go. Let's uh, enslave De Belton. De Belton. And do we have anything we can stick in here as a garrison or a going to? Mm, doesn't look like it. I think we're going to have to leave the Peltas behind then. And we're going to go straight onto this one, which is a bit more even. We might have to just take a draw out battle for this if it comes down to it. Oh my god, we've got Thinoi Clubman. Come on, the boys. Yes, let's go. Let's go. And this turn, with our money, we're just building a little bit of farming to try and increase our economic output before next turn, probably cycling in more troops. That's how we're going to do it. One turn troops, one turn buildings, basically, for the time being, until we get to the point where we're either not making any money or we're just making so much we can do both. Uh, guys... <laughs> I just realized I'm still playing with the Tuggle Fog of War off. How dumb. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I literally just forgot after I'd shown you the Black Sea at the start. I've just forgotten to turn it back off. But um, yeah, pretty dumb. But I'm sorry about that. <laughs> and there we go. Now the proper, the proper side. <laughs> God damn it. I am very sorry about that. Let's bring our spy. I think we'll go this way so we can discover more of this. What I'm thinking is we jump on the ships, get over to this region before we go after those rebel territories. I think that's going to be the option. And then we'll jump across to Chersonesos as well. And that will be a good chunk of this western side done, which should be good for us. Well, we've got an alliance with the Asti. That should stay as a buffer state uh, with us for a while. I'm also considering trying to get an alliance with the we Byzantines no over pass. here. Maybe just the trade rights. The then that'll be good. Because I don't... Mm, I mean, I could clean up them down here. That would really be okay. But yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. First of all, though, let's do this battle for Istria up in the north. It is a large 
town. So they've got a secondary army coming in of Istrian archers and Prodromoi, and then the main army of the faction leader Greek hoplites and Greek peltas. These guys should be coming in from the left, so let's see if we can go and stop them before they get close to us. Uh, well, here comes the secondary army. They're coming in from the corner. I thought they might come down the road there. We are pretty much just going to charge them. That is what we're going to do. We're going to get over there as quick as we can, though, first, while we firstly take the walls down. And then, honestly, they haven't got much. They have a hoplite and, you know, a general, and that's all. So it should be nice and easy for us. Well, here we go. We're going to go straight in for the charge on the Prodromoi. Their archers may get caught up in this. I don't mind, honestly. Let's try and target the archers actually first then. These are actually a very good archer unit. And it would be nice to get some of these guys AOR in the future if we can. But let's just slaughter them as much as we can. We have a general's bodyguard here. So it should not be too much of an issue. Looks like we're actually losing a little bit. So, yeah, let's uh, let's jump straight out of there again. And let's go one more time for another charge on those Istrians. Should be nice and easy. There we go. We broke them. And straight onto the Prodromoi then, guys. Straight onto the Prodromoi. And actually getting the charge off on these guys should be nice and easy. I think we're doing a lot of friendly fire there. But, um, yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Kill as many as we can of these guys. I don't mind these guys escaping back into the city. These guys are going to be tired now. That's the only issue, but I think we're going to be okay. Here we go. Taking javelins to the face as we charge through the gate. Let's get engaged with these Greek peltas, and when this is down, we will surround them. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to stand up to the general's bodyguard, but um, not so sure at the moment. We should be able to kill this Greek peltas pretty easily overall, but uh, let's find that out, guys. <laughs> let's find that out. Well, there we go. Literally just charged the Greek Peltas and they ran away. So, yeah. <laughs> Not the best from them, let's be honest. But it's it's okay. It's okay. Well, here we go. Looks like their general or the Prodromoi is going to charge us. That is a very big general's bodyguard. So, we do need to be slightly wary of that. But I think we're going to be okay, guys. I think we're going to be okay. Well, there goes their general, guys. There goes their general. He looks like he wants to uh, he wants to have a little bit of a charge. That's absolutely no problem with us. Hopefully, we can get our Peltas to fire at the Hoplites here. And hopefully, we can kill this general with our mass of Hoplites. I don't think that's going to be too bad, honestly. I wonder, can you reach there or not? No, unfortunately not. Hoping this Greek Peltas decides that it is time to charge us once and for all. Maybe if we get there, we'll be able to uh, to fire at them. The Prodromoi is just relentless. It's constantly charging us, <laughs> which is quite funny. But um, yeah, G Greek General's bodyguard is holding quite well. But I don't want to get him on the uh, town square just yet. Can we fire at the Greek, uh, the Greek uh, hoplites there? If we can, that's amazing. We're going to do so much damage. Uh, hopefully get them off the town square. Go on, boys. Go, go, go. Go, boys, go. Yes, all the way over the top. Hopefully we kill a couple. No, we didn't kill any. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Again, oh, have we killed one? I think we've killed one. That might bring them off the town square. There we go. Yes, we've killed a few of them. Hopefully that does bring them off the town square. And if it does, let's go uh, against the Greek general's bodyguard here and squish him in. So let's rally the men so our general doesn't die instantly. But there we go. We've managed to get them off the town square. Good. Now you can actually fire at the Greek Peltas. That will be glorious. Come on, guys. Squish them in. Squish them in. Well, there goes their general, guys. There goes their general. We're going to try and get these guys around here now to push them off. And we're also going to get... Oh, no, 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 no. Our general, our general, our general. No, no, no. <laughs> God, that was close. That was very, very close. We're going to get one of these guys onto the Peltas to just kill them. And we're going to get this guy to go and kill these boys. Going to bring the general back for some moral support, you know. Moral support, of course. And, uh, yeah, hopefully this isn't going to take forever. But it's going to be a bit of a grind fest, isn't it? Well, we use the Prodromoi to destroy those Peltas. So what we're going to do is get this uh, Hoplite in the corner here. And we're going to use him to try and push the Greek hoplites off the square so they'll break. Because, of course, if they have any of their units on the square itself, as you can see, they've got quite a few on there at the moment. 
they will not break. They will fight forever. So we don't want that because that's going to lead to us losing a lot of men. So rather than that, let's get our guys in there. Oh my god, they broke. They broke. Yes. Come on. Nice. 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 Nice little battle that, my friends. We lost about 200. We killed 349. But against so many in a siege battle, I think that is a good result. Let's go. Nikeratos, the playwright. You can write a play about this glorious victory, my friend. And I think the best thing to do with Istria is just to enslave for now. Let's repair that. Is there anything we want to destroy? No, it's actually quite a good little settlement. I'm not going to destroy the military buildings here. So AOR-wise, we can get the Istrian archers, which, as you can see, are a pretty damn good archer unit with 160 missile range. So, yeah. That is going to be good. Nicaretos got good commander, and he got a slave trader. Oh, dear. Well, anyway, we'll uh, <laughs> we'll ignore that for a second, and we will continue on our march. We're going to leave behind... Hmm, let's leave behind a Prodromoy. 32 Prodromoy should be okay. Once we've taken this settlement, mind you, we will then again be able to get the alliance with the Gete because the reason why it was cancelling before was because they're allied with the Istrians. So it was stopping us from attacking them over there. And we are now recruiting again. I'm going to pop you down to low Istria. Good. Well, let's have a look down in the south and let's attack Salmidesos over here. Now, I think this is actually going to be quite bloody. The Thinoi Clubmen, although they're not armor-piercing, there's quite a lot of them. We should easily win this, but I've got a feeling without any missile troops, they're going to just hunker down on the town square. In fact, I've got to say, this is a bit of a sad moment, really, because I love these boys. I love the Thinoi Clubmen. Just look at their cute little faces and their little clubs. They are fantastic. They are glorious, but... um. A lot of them are going to die today, unfortunately. <laughs> well, there we go. We're just chewing through the uh, the Light Lancers. They are dying very, very quickly. So there goes the uh, the Thinoi boys. They're going for the charge. Go on, man. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I do really, really love this unit, I've got to say. It is a glorious little unit. Let's, uh, while, we're, uh, while we're here, let's try... Oh, we've got it. We've absolutely screwed that up. Let's try and get this ram and open another hole in the gate. And uh, that will allow us to then move our cavalry in and do some damage. So let's go. Well, here we go. We've got our uh, another hoplite in. So hopefully they can maybe envelop around this way somewhat. So let's get them out there on this flank to try and envelop some of the Thinoi Clubmen. They're actually doing a fantastic job. Their stats are not good, though. Look at that. Only 21 defense. 12 melee attack, though, which is better than our... Spearmen, of course, but we have so much more defense. I thought we might have been doing a little bit better, I've got to admit, against the glorious Thinoi boys. Well, here we go. Now we've got the big boys in the city. We've got our cavalry. Let's rally the men and let's go for the charge. It's not going to be the greatest of charges, let's be honest, but it might just break these Thinoi boys because you can see we've got a lot of things to be concerned about now. now. They just need to lose a few men quite quickly and then they will instantly want to go. Maybe we come up this way. Let's go there. Again, there we go. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Let's see that. That should be a good charge. There we go. They're wavering now. Hopefully, we can break them pretty quickly. Well, there we go. Glorious. Glorious. But look at that. Look how many people they have on the town square. And we don't have any missile troops to get rid of them off there. And oh, my God. <laughs> We've only got 24 men left of that one unit. That is not ideal, my friends. Not ideal at all. Well, here comes the general. Let's get into him. I think we're going to have a pretty good field day on him. The Thinoi Clubmen have got Javis. That's probably why they managed to do so well. So we're going to stay far enough back over here so that we don't get destroyed by Javelins. We should be able to kill him pretty darn quickly. He's only a Thracian. Well, the Thracian generals are good, but uh, we have a lot more troops. So there we go. Nice and glorious, my friends. Nice and glorious. Right then, guys. Into the action for Pontic Pentapolean, Pentapolean freedom. Come on. Glorious hoplites. Let's go. In fact, even one of you, if you could get like there, would be good. Maybe even like there. Go on, boys. And then we can like fully hit them from the side too 
And then we're going to get start getting our cavalry in to charge. Now attack the Thynoys. Okay, that is, that is a nice little charge there, my friends. A nice little charge. Back out. We're just going to keep doing this until we win, guys. Simply put. Well, the hammer and anvil has been very effective. The Thino Clubmen are down to 11. The long spearmen, 92 still, though. So, yeah, we are struggling a little bit. But, uh, yeah, we're just going to rest the horses for a second. And then we're going to go for our next charge against the spearmen. That is the problem. It is the spearmen. So we're going to take a lot more losses. But you can see it's very effective. In fact, what I'm going to do is probably go one more charge and then leave the general out of it because um, yeah, we don't want to lose our general in this first battle, my friends. Although that would be a very me thing to do. Well, there we go. A glorious victory in the end. We did lose 210, but that is half of them. And honestly, the Thinoids did a lot better. That first Thinoid unit did amazing. 81 kills on Greek Hoplites. Fair play, guys. Fair play. The Thinoid no longer... Uh, ridiculed a lot around the lands. The glorious Thynoi. Um, but fantastic. Another city along the coast is ours. And Salmodessos isn't much of a city, but we will enslave it nonetheless. I don't think we're going to be able to repair it this turn. Do these guys have rams yet? No, they don't. I'm still, though, considering leaving a unit behind that 21 Greek hoplites. And just maybe joining these units up here for now. Can we retrain any of those? No, I think it's here that we can. Well, we could actually retrain this one this turn if we cancelled a couple of buildings. So let's do that. We'll actually cancel you. Although, yeah, I'd prefer to be recruiting. So anything else we can cancel. Yeah, the trader... There we go. That should be enough now to get that guy as well. Glorious. Well, um, and maybe even to repair this. Yes, it is. Fantastic. Well, uh, that's good. Another turn is over, my friends. Let's go. Well, the chameleons have actually uh, ran away. <laughs> Which is quite funny, really. Let's go and have a look at what they're doing. They've got a draw out battle ready for us. How many troops? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Can we beat that? Mm, yeah, no. Prob probably not. <laughs> I've got to be honest. Probably not. Um, yeah. Uh, let's go for this. Let's just auto-resolve. That should be... Never auto-resolve, guys. Never auto-resolve. Ah, <sighs> well, this guy can stay there. Where is the settlement that can recruit properly? I think it's this one, isn't it? No, not that one. It is Kalatis. Well, we're going to come all the way back to Kalatis. We're going to spend all of our money retraining these guys. Uh, pop you at the back. That wasn't even that much money, actually. That's pretty good. So my thinking about going for factions rather than these rebel territories all the way up here, guys, is because... If we leave the factions themselves, they will have a lot of inland territories after a little while. And that is not something we want. We want to just take them out, deal with them uh, now, rather than having a settlement all the way up here at some point and then co keep coming down and attacking us. So, I mean, the Bosporans probably don't need to worry too much about them or Chers and Essos, but these Histria and Olbia do tend to go north quite a bit. So, yeah, we definitely want to deal with them. The Scythians, that's going to be a lot later down the line. Um, but, yeah, <laughs> you can already see, like, Kabile attacking us is already hampering our movements quite a significant amount. We could already have uh, taken the next settlement down here. We could have taken Celembria and gone on for Byzantium. Uh, but, no, we have to deal with the goddamn these guys. <laughs> Which is great. Love it. I'm also going to get a couple more ships in regions where we can't actually recruit anything. So, like, here. Um, over here, we'll probably get another one of these boys. Going to just gather our forces a little bit. And then this army is now, once again, ready to go. We're going to leave behind the Greek slingers. This is the one that needs the ships. So, I, I hope history doesn't have too big a navy 
<laughs> I mean, we can see their navy. We're just going to drop them off there. And then if we have a problem with the ships, uh, then we should be okay. But we are going to keep on going north. There is a problem with the Gete, of course. But I am going to try and make the Gete happy uh, when we get the chance. Also thinking, once we've taken Kabile, we just destroy everything, let it revolt. And it should revolt to the Thracians themselves. So, uh, yeah, that definitely will be uh, helpful. Salmodessos is now happy. Good. Good. Well, history is going to give us 7,000 gold for a ceasefire. We're going to accept oh, that, thanks. and we're going to just attack them straight away anyway. <laughs> thanks, Histria. Thank you. Very clever indeed, my friend. Well, there goes the idea of using the Thracians. Um, they just attacked us. Great. Thank you for that, Thracians. Um... Well, seeing as the Kabelians have left us alone for a second, let's just go and see what's going on here. They do have this draw-out battle. I think we've got to take that. I think we, we can't ignore that. I'm going to take... Do we take all the troops? What do they have? Two hoplites, a slinger, and a general. And then a general and unknown. Let's go here. Can we see? They do have some Zistaphoroi, of course. Hmm. I think we've got to take all of the troops here. I think we've got to leave this undefended, unfortunately. Uh, we will have troops coming soon, though, as well. In fact, no, we don't need to leave it undefended. You can go in there. There we go. Perfect. And we're going to go for that. I'm also... Okay, so they got got Romphophoroi, two Peltas, Zistaphoroi, and a General. This army, yeah, okay. 50 men in that general's bodyguard, though, is quite insane. Do we have any mercenaries available? We do. Now, I might get some of these. I know it seems like a lot of money. We do have a lot of money at the moment, but we just need that extra security in that battle. Thracians have betrayed us. Yes, we do know. Um, and then Dionysopoli has upgraded. Cool. Well, let's uh, keep on moving in the north. Here we go. And I think definitely the one to go for is going to be the history to start with. Oh, we've got loads of more movement points. So that was just lying to us. Good. And we are going to go for the history. So thanks for that 7,000 gold, my friends. But uh, no thanks, I guess. <laughs> it would be nice to set up a little recruitment hub up here. It's, it's not a long jump to get to Chersonesos either. So uh, that is glorious indeed. But let's do this battle against the uh, Kabelians. So let's go. We actually have a lot of long-range missile options. So what I'm going to do is try and use those guys to our advantage. Try and whittle them down before they even get close. And force them into attacking us by coming up this sort of little ridge here. Because if we went the way, like this way, we're just going to be going up a hill the whole way. In fact, though, we could get across there and go around that way. That's, that's going to take forever. So, uh, yeah, let's go the other way. We're not going to run our troops. We're going to be nice and sensible in this battle. <laughs> well, here we go. Just in range. Let's hope this plan works. I do want to whittle down their cavalry, definitely, because they've got a lot of cavalry. I would also like to whittle down their their Peltas, because because of their our lack of cavalry, it's going to be hard for us to deal with those guys. These guys are just getting hit and nothing is happening. <laughs> nothing at all is happening. Oh, well. No one even died then. That was a whole volley. Should be able to attack these guys. So let's go for that. One of you can attack the hoplites. In fact, let's... Uh, if we just come forward slightly, everyone should be in our range. And let's get our hoplites right up behind these guys just in case you know just in case we get our peltast in the middle there we go now we should all be able to fire at the same enemy so i'm thinking all of us let's go for the slingers first let's get rid of them should be nice and easy We're using a lot of ammo though well that was probably the most ineffectual skirmishing phase i've ever had in a battle we put about 10 volleys into the hoplites killed no i killed one one person some of the slingers have died. One of the bodyguards, or two of the bodyguards have died, and that's it. Yes, it's not fantastic, 
But uh, we're going to have to go now. I can't keep on doing this. Right then. So you guys are going to get there. You're going to get there. You're going to get there and there. And then we're going to have to bring our Peltas through too. And our cavalry. Here we go. We might even have to get these guys involved. Which I don't want to get them involved. We may have to at some point. We have Zistaforoi there. Come on, Peltas. Let's go. Let's see if we can uh, maybe whittle down some of the Zistaforoi um, with our guys. This guy does now have 23 men in his general's bodyguard, which is fantastic. So very happy about that. We should win the battle here, but we may lose this, you know. We just need to get cavalry dominance, and I think that's going to be good. Okay, there goes their royal bodyguard. It's not ideal, that, because they're probably going to kill us. Okay, here we go. Let's get into the Zista 4 right? The uh, Peltas are going to take a bit of a hit. Okay, they instantly broke. That's fantastic. That's exactly what we wanted. But we should get a good uh, good charge off on the Zista Foray here. Yeah, okay. We're now kind of equal with the Zista Foray. There we go. We're breaking them. We're actually destroying them quite significantly. Come on, guys. Let's rally them. See if they'll come back. Oh, no. There goes the Zista Foray. Okay. This all depends on the center, really. Oh, my God. What's going on here, man? I didn't realize that we had that guy just, just charging around like a crazy person. But that's actually distracted quite a bit of their army. So, honestly, I'm not too bothered about that. They're probably going to break, though, because they're fighting the uh, Romfire Foroy. But here we go. Yeah, look at that. They're getting absolutely shredded by Javis. Absolutely shredded by Javis. This is not ideal. This is not ideal, my friends. Not ideal. Well, there goes their general, I think. Come on. I think that's their general. Get into these Peltas. Let's see if we can break them. Instantly wavering. Go on, boys. Let's go. Broken. Come on. Here we go. This is it. This is our chance. This is our chance. We are fighting their general's bodyguard over there with our trash units. <laughs> well, let's go. Let's see if we can if we can break a couple of units here. This is going to be everything. Come on, guys. Speed up. Actually charge, man. Actually charge. This is this is what we need. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's a pretty darn good charge. Got them wavering instantly. Okay, good. We killed a lot of them there. Killed an absolute load of them. We know that we can like, destroy them um, with our charges, the Peltasts. But yeah, oof, this is, this is going to be very tough. Very tough indeed. We got to kill their general's bodyguard, remember, guys, as well. We haven't lost a lot of... Uh, a lot of hoplites. That is the one main thing that is good about this. If we can break that hoplite, I think we can break the other. So let's go. Okay, instantly broken these Thracian Peltas. They are not good against the charge. So that is the one good thing about them. We're going to have to now run away because this bodyguard is going to chase us. <laughs> so uh, let's get away. Come on, guys. We they should be tired too. We're also tired. Why are you so slow, guys? Come on. Hurry up. Jesus, man. You are so slow. Unbelievably slow. Come on. Okay, that's one of their generals. Good, 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 good. God damn, this is tight. This is very tight. I don't think we can even consider thinking about whether we're going to take the settlement or not. I think we just have to try to win this battle. We are piling Javis into this, uh, this bodyguard here. Also going to try and charge the uh, Romfire Foroy over this way because they are not very good against the horses as well. There we go. Loads of Javis flying into these guys. It is slowly whittling them down. Let's get into the Romfire Foroy though. Going to uh, rally the men once again. Let's see how this charge does. Come on, boys. For glory. Oh, my God. That's a huge charge. Okay. Broken them instantly. Kill all of them. Kill all of them if you can. Kill them all. Kill them all, men. Kill them all. There we go. There we go. There we go. Our cavalry is exhausted now, though. So I don't think we're going to be able to do much. Let's uh, see whether we can chase a few of them down. Okay, we've got the general here. He's got 22 men. Let's see what we can do against him. We are exhausted. We got the charge off. <gasps> okay. Okay, are we going to win? Are we going to win? Are we going to win? No, we're not. We're going to run. We're going to lose. We're going to lose. 
I'm gonna lose! Run away! <laughs> run away! Run away! Run away! Run away! Run away! Okay. Oof. Well, that was pretty intense. Where are the slingers? They, uh, the the guys. They've gone. Let's get a charge off on these hoplites anyway. That should break them. Good. Right now, out. Then we've got one last unit, and then oh god. This has been a very tight one. Very tight indeed. We're definitely not going to take the city on this, but we are going to take victory, and that is the main thing. Come on, one final charge, my men. They've got 40, and they're shaken. Let's see. This should do it. Come on. Come on, men. Come on, please. Kill them. Please. Ah, oh, back to shaken. Not stirred. Not stirred. And there they go, and there they go, my friends. It looks like the general's withdrawing. He is. Oh, my days. Oh, eventually, in the end, they all run away. Who would have guessed? That was, that was intense. <laughs> Whew, well, I don't even think we killed more. I think they killed more, but we just had more men in the end. The general's body got 200. The Zista Foroy that started... They've only got three men left. They started with 26 men, killed 194. Well, here's to cavalry, guys. Here's to cavalry. Jeez. Can't believe no one else got any really good... Uh, look at this guy. 105, he killed three. Yeah, that wasn't the greatest idea, was it? It did distract them for a while, though. You were the sacrificial lamb, my friends, but... Wow. Wow. <laughs> well, let's still siege it down and see whether they'll come and attack us here. And then we'll be able to be the defensive one. Well, guys, we're now actually building in every single settlement, which is insane so early in the game. We've not been many turns in, about six turns in, and we're already building in all, I don't know how many it is, five, about 11, 12 settlements. Cool. Well, um, if you want to see this series, guys, do make sure you do like uh, and subscribe 100 likes and I will do a part two I just want to make sure that you guys are interested in this series that's all so make sure you do like and once again big thank you to the channel members of Zero Suit Samus of David D and of Pascal as well and if you want to join the channel for many cool perks do check out the membership options down below which you can join for as little as 99p 99 cents whatever uh, your currency is but thank you very much for watching guys it's been a pleasure as always we are on the road to conquering the all of the black sea let's go let's see very nice indeed and i'll see you all again on the next video